Hi everyone, welcome to Pharma Just. Myself, Dr. Haimavati. In the present video, we will be discussing the story of cimetidine. So, cimetidine is a historeceptor antagonist which is used for the treatment of peptic ulcers. So, this is the structure of the cimetidine molecule and it is sold under the brand name Tagamet. So, how this Tagamet name was uh, come to uh, into the market, we will see the story in coming slides. And the names which you can see on the left side of the screen, they are the scientists who are involved in the discovery of this cimetidine molecule. So, it is an interesting story in rational drug design. So, before the discovery of cimetidine, the drug discovery was based on traditional medicine or serendipity. So, new drugs were identified based on the traditional drugs which were used in the family scenarios. So, those uh, active principles, they were isolated and studied and optimized and used as medicines for different diseases. Or else it was a chance discovery like the pencil in how it was identified. It was a chance discovery. So, drug discovery was in that uh, means on an unorganized way. But after the discovery of cimetidine, it led to the foundation of the present uh, rational drug discovery Path. So, the present rational drug discovery is a step by step approach which starts from identification of molecular target, lead optimization and study. So, all these uh, were brought about by the discovery of cimetidine. So, how this happened we will see. So, I felt the story of cimetidine very interesting. So, that is why I wanted to share and uh, I recorded this video for this molecule. So the journey of cimetidine, it started with the molecule histamine. So histamine is a is the molecule which is present throughout the body and which is overexpressed in conditions of allergies. And cimetidine was a lead optimist compound of this histamine molecule. So the step by step procedure we shall discuss now. So the cimetidine it is used in peptic ulcer. So as you know peptic ulcer is a very common disorder. Where, where a number of people are suffering from this peptic ulcer. So, nowadays also it is a rare, very small common rare disorder, not a rare disorder, but it is a very common disorder which may be caused because of irrational use of NSIDs or stress or because of the bacteria Helicobacter pylori. So, what happened by in, the, in those days, 1900s, starting of the 1900 era, so, in the 1950s and 60s, people used to die because of this peptic ulcer. Because there was no proper medical treatment, it used to lead to bleeding of the stomach lining and that bleeding ultimately led to the death of the patient. So, it was a major cause of concern. So, what they did? They wanted to identify a cure for this. So, how that cure was identified is also an interesting story. And before going to the journey of cimetidine, uh, I wanted to share another uh, interesting fact in this. So, there is a doctor named Barry J. Marshall. So, in those days, he was convinced that the stomach ulcers were caused due to Helicobacter pylori. But no one believed him and people used to think it was either due to stress or the lifestyle or irrational use of the other drugs. But... Uh, Barry J. Marshall was not convinced with that fact. He strongly believed that it was caused because of this bacteria. So, what he did? He drank the bacteria by himself and he developed the ulcers and treated those with antibiotics. So, he, he developed the infection by himself and then he treated that infection using antibiotics. So, for this experiment, he, ca he got a Nobel Prize in 2005. So, he performed this experiment in 1984 and obtained a Nobel Prize for this in 2005. So, he took a risk to prove himself. So, in those days, the people used to have that much of dedication and devotion. That is why many successful drugs were discovered in those days. So, this fact is in no way related to this cimetidine story. But because there is also an ulcer point involved in this, so I wanted to share this uh, uh, fact with you. Now coming to the story of cimetidine. 
so the submitted in story it was the first successful attempt to design a drug at a particular target so i told you already that previously drug discovery was based either on serendipity or traditional medicine but the submitted in discovery it was a uh, targeted at a particular molecular target that is the histamine molecule and it is a selective h2 antagonist for the treatment of ulcers so the success story of cimetidine led to the realignment of chemistry driven pharmaceutical research so it led to a new pathway for the pharmaceutical research and the drug discovery research as a result of this the art of rational drug discovery and drug design has undergone an explosive evolution so this brought about a tremendous revolution in the drug discovery era which you uh, making use of the sophisticated computational and structural methodology to help in the field of drug design so wa what is an ulcer so an ulcer it causes severe bleeding and also death if untreated so a major cause of ulcers is the release of excess stomach acid which leads to breaches of the intestinal tract so the lining of the intestinal tract gets holes so holes are formed because of the excess acid which is released into the stomach and this continuous acid secretion it prevents healing and finally results to bleeding and death if untreated so the main treatment in those year, those days it used to be administration of alkalis which provided temporary relief and they were uh, advised to follow a bland diet that means without any spices or else the ultimate resort was to remove the part of the stomach in case the ulcer doesn't get resolved so as i told already the traditionally the development of new drug was dependent either on the plant or microbial extract which showed some biological activity so this was used as the lead to identify similar compounds and tested for their pharmacological activity and uh, in those days all these active properties they did not know the mechanism of action so they ultimately the result was uh, shown that means by curing particular disease it was known that it will work for particular disease for example if it is for an ulcer or it is for a fever that this active principle worked but how it worked at the molecular level nowadays we have information that so and so target is responsible for causing this disease and we are targeting that protein and uh, designing the inhibitor for that but in those days the mechanism of action that how this particular drug worked uh, it was unknown so that is why the cimetidine is one of the first drugs which was designed logically from the first principles so in this a company called smith klein pharma company and french government's multidisciplinary research team research team they looked into the causes which caused the acid secretion they could look at for the uh, causes which are which is resulting into releasing more amount of acid in the stomach so they confirm that a molecule which is found in the body so this molecule is called the histamine so this histamine triggers the release of acid when it is bound to a specific receptor so this receptor it is now it is known as h2 receptor which is present in the stomach lining so when the histamine molecule is binding to this receptor it is causing excess amount of acid secretion in the stomach which is leading to the ulcer so their aim was to find this molecule as uh, find another molecule which could compete with histamine so they wanted to design a similar molecule which is in having similar uh, functionalities like histamine but instead of producing the acid secretion it should block the acid secretion that way we can get relief from the ulcer so they are they designed different drugs for this they used a step by step analysis studying the structural and physical properties of histamine and they made a series of histamine based molecules and which were tested for the antagonistic activity using different pharmacological assays so this approach nowadays it is known as the rational drug design so now it is the underlying uh, procedure for any drug discovery 
program in the major pharmaceutical companies. So before that it was not like this. So after uh, the study of cemetidine only it laid the foundation stone for a step by step approach in drug design. So this histamine which is found throughout the body it is released during allergic uh, reactions such as hay fever and it also stimulates the acid secretion in the stomach which increases the and also it increases the heart rate. So they conducted tests with antihistamines so, and uh, they it indicated that there were two types of histamine receptors which are present in the stomach and uh, one sort of one responded to the histamine but the another molecule it did not respond to the histamine. So they wanted to establish that the later receptor they can inhibit using a molecule which is similar to histamine. So because this work promised to lead an effective anti-ulcer medicine the company started an acid secretion program in 1964. That means in the 1964 it started the basis for identifying a anti-ulcer medicine for this acid secretion program. So they by 1968 they synthesized to 200 more than 200 compounds in order to inhibit this acid secretion but none of the compound showed any activity in the assays. So therefore one of the scientists named Parsons he recognized that modifying the assay might increase the sensitivity. So instead of modifying the compounds he thought that by modifying the pharmacological assay procedure maybe we can increase the sensitivity of the molecule. So the previous molecules which were synthesized by the scientist named Durant they were again retested by changing the assay procedure. And now this compound it became the lead molecule. So previously the molecule which was not working after they modified the assay procedure it started working and after two years of hard work so they identified an active antagonist and it was called burimamide. So the, they identified a lead molecule known as burimamide and this burimamide it was not orally active. So it was active in the experimental setup but it was not active orally. So again they identified another analog it is known as metiamide. So they identified a hit molecule then they optimized that molecule and again because it was not orally active again they optimized another molecule known as metiamide which was 10 times more potent and orally active. So the metiamide replaced the burimamide and the clinical trials of metiamide began in 1973 and the ulcer healed within three weeks but again this also got a side effect. So it, got, it gave rise to a blood disorder called agranulocytosis as a side effect for the treatment. So again what they did again they further lead optimize the compound and prepared a similar compound by replacing the thiourea group present in that with a cyanoguanidine moiety and this resulted in the new lead compound known as cimetidine and this cimetidine it passed every test so we, there were no side effects there were no unwanted reactions and it was orally active and very effective so finally they found an ultimate inhibitor for the peptic ulcer and in November 1976 it was launched as tagamet tagamet means antagonist so the tag was derived from antagonist and met was derived from this cimetidine so these two combining tag and met became tagamet so cimetidine became the brand name as tagamet 10 years after the introduction of this molecule it became the number one prescription drug and achieved a sales of 1 billion dollar so this was the blockbuster drug in those days which was identified using a step by step rational procedure known as rational drug design. So this is the journey of cimetidine which started from histamine molecule. So a number of similar molecules were synthesized. So finally the most promising lead was burimamide but the burimamide was not orally active. Then again they synthesized further optimized by changing this functional group. They added a thiourea group here and metiamide was obtained. Metiamide was orally active but it had a serious side effect. So again what they did? So this functional group was again changed by adding a cyanoguanidine group further lead optimized 
and it was the successful molecule in the study. So, we got the cimetidine in this way. So, this is the success journey of identification of cimetidine molecule which laid the foundation for today's rational drug discovery process. I hope you uh, understood the concept clear and it was useful. Thanks for watching. Do not forget to like and subscribe to my channel. See you in the next one.